It's Saturday morning and that means it's park run time. But today I have a special treat for you. First little treat for you. Today is my 100th park run. That is right, a century of park runs. And that surprises me hugely. If you knew my running background and you knew when I started this, it's mental, but amazing nonetheless. The second treat, as you will have seen at my window, is I am attending this morning what has been labelled as one of the most picturesque and beautiful park runs in the country. And I've been wanting to do this one ever since I saw it on social media. It looks incredible and I'm very much looking forward to it. I'm in the Forest of Dean and I'm going to Mallard's Pike Park Run. Although saying that, I'm cutting it fine time-wise. Welcome to Mallard's Pike. Let's try and find where to park. It does look pretty incredible around here. I'll give it that. So yeah, 100 park runs and Mallard's Pike in one day. I thought I'd come here for the special occasion. Okay, so the plan is, there is no plan today. I've heard it's a pretty tricky park run and this is just a bit of fun. I am zero interest in my time. I'm not going for sub 30, anything. I just want to appreciate the beauty, enjoy the hundreds. And there we go, I'll take you along. Here we go, heading to the start. And I am genuinely excited about this, I really am. Might not be so excited in about 30 minutes time, but for now, let's go. Oh, we go. Nice slow start on this bobbly fire path. Honestly, look how picturesque it is. Happy days. First impressions are good. It's not quite as flat as Gloucester, obviously. And it's run on this kind of compacted path. Which is kind of like trail running, which makes a nice change. I get to run in this environment very often. Oh, it's lovely, really lovely. One other thing I like about this course, and I'm racking my brain, so I'm not sure I've done it before, but it's a one lap. I feel like that's pretty rare in the world of park run. I'm sure you can get in the comments and tell me otherwise. Talk in the comments. If you're into park run, if you've anywhere near 100 park runs, or you want to congratulate me on hitting 100 park runs, give this video a like and make sure you subscribe too. Honestly, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. I see the troll is under there. And this looks like the first gradual incline of the day when you're not really used to running on heels you don't have to feel it in your thighs the calves and the hips and the glutes when going up an incline one kilometre and it's slow but I don't care look at these views so what a clumpy hill oh yeah. there we go we're at the top now. <laughs> My legs are burning a little bit. Thank you, Marshall. Straight into the early morning sunshine, isn't that beautiful? And up another hill. Man, these really did take it out of you. I might need to start doing some hill running training. The beauty of this place is just about offsetting the um, I'm feeling in my lower back and glutes from rushing here too late, not having a little stretch. But look at it. For anyone doing the alphabet challenge in park runs, that's doing a park run from every letter A to Z if you didn't know. This is me ticking off 
and my um, never done one another bonus today and that is two kilometers feels like there's been a lot of uphill in this so logic must tell me that at some point we'll go downhill so just wishful thinking i'm not sure hope not i think i'm gonna go back somewhere flat next week oh my days for the first two kilometers i was following a little kid and his dad they were doing a great pace for me and on this little hill section here they've absolutely just dropped me they've gone from being six seven foot in front i don't know 50 meters watching kids do this thing is really quite incredible it really is this hill is savage it's just long and gradual and i'm really crossing my fingers it goes back downhill soon i can hear the cowbells that must mean only one thing it must be downhill from here right thank you marshall Back into the sunshine. No, it doesn't look like it's down here yet. Surely, same, surely. Here we go. Is this it? Surely. Oh, finally, a bit of downhill. Three kilometers. Oh, maybe. So I've just met Sue. Hi. Say hello, Sue. And I don't know about you, Sue, but I find it a lot easier running when I'm chatting to someone. Yeah, me too. Than when I'm concentrating. Tell me your running story. Well, firstly, I'm a psychotherapist. Okay. And yet. I can't be in my own head when I'm running. <laughs> so who the hell else can? No. Nope. Um, running story lockdown. Did couch to 5k. Oh really? Had no. you done? Had you done anything Never. pre lock? Never. Okay. Overweight, menopausal. Yeah. Drinking. I quit drinking immediately in January. Okay. As part of my get your shit together in your body. You're in yeah, your 50s. Yeah, yeah. Program. Um, found it. Oh, that's why I'm doing this channel. Bruh. Because I'm in my midlife crisis. Okay. I'm 44. You know what they call I'm a crisis specialist. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, okay. Crisis. How's this for a bit of serendipity? Yeah. Every so, shall I tell you the first title of my video before you tell me what you're going to tell me? What's that? My first video was Midlife Crisis or Midlife yeah. Opportunity. There you go. Is that what so you're going to say? In China, Chinese, they have one word for crisis and it's dual. One side, crisis other side opportunity oh wow well. post-traumatic growth huge yep and so yeah so i started running walking on my own yep in my wellies actually i think with my dogs right um carried on with that built up to with a company called runner yeah i've heard of that that's yeah. the app isn't it in fact i was so impressed with them are you double na right are you double na yep I invested because they were a startup. Oh, did you? And they were brilliant helping new runners. So I'm seeing them everywhere at the moment. They're everywhere, they're amazing. Yeah. So uh, they did me a program to help me move to a 5K race right. and a 10K race. And they got me through to the Bristol half. Wow. A couple of years ago. I would say there I peaked. Right. I don't know that I'm going to do that again because of the training really yeah it's quite it's a lot of time isn't it but was it I, time or was it the stress on the body or it both everything more the time yeah i because i started slowly right with pop with um couch 5k yeah yeah i've never eat <laughs> had a running injury so i also do a lot of yoga to support my running yeah and spin okay Low, low impact stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah. and then I try and do park run now every week. I was in Poland when the Ukraine war broke out. I was deployed by my crisis organisation. Okay. And whilst working with the families, the employees who moved out of Ukraine, we all did park run in Lublin and Warsaw together. Oh wow. What, the refugees or the staff, or both? Yeah, the evacuees. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow, so you've got quite the story to tell. Do you know what, everyone? This is why I love YouTube, because <laughs> if I wasn't recording this, or if I wasn't doing this channel, I wouldn't have come to uh, Mallard's Pike today. I wouldn't have turned that corner. I wouldn't have said to, out loud about downhills. 
I can see you wouldn't have said hello. But yeah, I have this camera in my hand. Yeah. It's amazingly serendipitous stuff happens. Yeah. It's crazy. That's four kilometers. And I'll tell you what, that third, or That's just between three and four flew by compared to the rest. And we were going pretty speedy. We were. I'll put my splits up here so you can see. I'd be interested to see the difference that Chatty makes. 200 meters to go. Oh, so you just told me it's uphill. But that's all right, because you know what? This last kilometer and a half has flown by. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you, Marshall. Appreciate you speaking Thank you. That. 82. Position 82. Thank you, Marshall. And I don't know what my time is. Well, here's a do. Sorry, little man. 32.57. Okay, so Sue's taking me back to the final corner. We're going to go and cheer on some of the slower runners who are coming around the corner. What did you say? They're from? They're from our, we've got a little running club. Oh, they're from? Yeah. They're from Sue's Running Club. Fly as well, plodders really. Sure, but plodders. it's a whole mix. Okay. We never discuss pace or speed. Okay. It's irrelevant. Yeah, it's just about being fun, right? We celebrate being outside, having got out of bed and put our trainers on. And that is what it's all about. Each other. So, whatever. That's the run director with the, cow the cowbells. Oh, he used to be a run director, the one with the little brown dog. Okay. And then life took him over and stuff got in his way. A run director, and what, now, for park run? Yeah, and now he's back. Look, run with a little brown dog. Lovely. Ross. What's his name? Ross. Come on, Ross! Go on, Ross! Ross. Woohoo! Where I was rushing to get a start, I didn't even notice the lake. You know, I think I'm going to get myself a coffee. Um, that park run has, has blown my mind. Honestly, the lady I met and ran with, how interesting. I'm gonna get her to come on the YouTube channel and talk about midlife crisis. That's what her job is, she's a crisis therapist or something. Part run really is magical at times, it really is. Um, course review, one lap, amazing. Uh, scenery, amazing. Big hill in the middle, not quite so amazing. A long downhill from about three kilometers onwards, pretty good. Helen was hoping to come with me this morning, but it didn't work out, unfortunately. But saying that, I'm definitely gonna bring her back because I love it. And you know, I think I might bring the kids here as well. It is very scenic. If, you, if you're anywhere near the Forest of Dean, I promise you, you should come and visit. It is so beautiful. It's lovely. Oh, look, there's, the, there's the lake. Look at that. We've even got a Garofalo orienteering course. The girls will love that. Right, let's grab a coffee. Right, coffee for the drive home. I've got to try and remember I parked the car, I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, enough of me waxing lyrical about Mallard's Pike. If you are within distance, I highly recommend it as a park run. I think you'll love it. And on that bombshell, that is my 100th park run. I'll try and insert some confetti if my editing skills will allow. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great weekend.